Hey everybody, so I wanted to come to you today with a little bit different of a video from what we normally do. I wanted to do a review of some accessories that I've seen within the community. So we have had one of our sponsors, the wonderful Gem Accessories, go ahead and send us over some wonderful things for us to crack open here. We're gonna do an unboxing of this, and also we're gonna do a full review uh, today. So here we have the box that we will be opening on video today. And let's go ahead and get this open. All right, so here we have uh, the receipt, which I'm gonna put over there. And looks like we have all of our sleeves. So what we have here is four packs of Apex Victory sleeves. So these come in I think only pro mat at the moment. These are Japanese sized card sleeves. You can find these on the Gem Accessories website. So I'm very excited to see these in action. Let's go ahead and crack a pack of these open. So should be 60 sleeves. I'm not gonna count them at this exact moment. So we have white with the matte back and a white front. So let's go ahead and what do you say we go ahead we grab a deck, I happen to have one right here. That's this is a nice Edison deck, one of my favorites. This is Amaryllis Burn. Let's go ahead and take our deck and get it sleeved up and see how it feels. Okay, so we have the main deck sleeved up here. Oh wow, the shuffle feel is amazing on these. Yeah, this is really nice. Three through four through five through six. Yep, that is exactly 60. Sometimes it's nice to have that 61st or 62nd sleeve. Um, not to just be greedy, but because those extra few sleeves come up sometimes, the extra couple of cards can come up if one of your sleeves cracks or if one of your sleeves rips at the corner or seam. Um, it helps out a lot to have that extra. So let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and get out a real play mat. And see if we can't get some good shuffle feel. Okay, we have converted our setup over to a real play mat, not just my mouse pad. Let's see how this goes. I'm a big fan of fanning out the deck. Yeah, seems to go pretty well. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. Get a few more shuffles in here. Let's get a couple test hands and see how those feel. Turns out when you use these sleeves, your mills get better. You can just mill a dandy, an ulti dandy at that. Um. So far, I think I like the sleeves quite a lot. Uh, I will need to play around more with them, which is good because I think pretty soon I'm going to be doing some remote duels. Hey everybody. So I'm sure you're wondering why at this point in the video, I have a different shirt on and I look different and it's like a different day. I have a haircut now. So I went ahead and got the deck box in from Gem Accessories. So as you can see here, I have the Merlot deck box from Gem Accessories. It has arrived safely. Um, luckily, the customer support at Gem is just unmatched. Uh, they always do a wonderful job of getting back to you immediately as soon as possible, solving your issue and getting it fixed. I got my reply very quickly once I reached out to customer service and I got the deck box that I was expecting with my sleeves. I ha, had to record on a different day and then after recording on a different day, I got to the edit a couple days later and realized, oh, my audio wasn't working in the recording. So. Uh, I'm coming back to you again uh, many days later. I'm like over a week later at this point from the original recording, but I do have the deck box. Uh, I have already opened it out of the original packaging. I have already actually opened the box once already. I already have one. This is the Mother Mary Senpai box. Uh, I like it a lot. I had a really great time with this deck box. It was served me very well. Uh, I do not carry it anymore because uh, I can't bring it to regionals. Uh, so if you're ordering a Senpai deck box from Gem Accessories, be aware uh, you, you're not supposed to bring it to like YCSs and regionals and organized events. Um, I think it's a great deck box, it does a good job, but I don't carry it anymore for that reason. Uh, and also, if you notice, these boxes are rather large. So um, I wanna do, I'm gonna go through everything I feel about this deck box. So when you pull it out of the wrapper, you'll notice if you look on this side, it's got like a little, so this is like a wax paper thing. 
Uh, it ships, the Mother Mary one did not have one of these when it shipped, I don't believe, I got it a couple of years ago, so I'm not entirely sure, but now they have these wax paper inserts. These are great because they protect it because on the inside of this, you'll be able to see right here, especially that this is all magnetic. So when you close the box, it seals and like it really seals. So it holds pretty good. It's a strong magnet, strong pair of magnets. Um, and when you open it up, you get this nice full design. So, and as I'm sure you saw in the shot there, you also get a couple of dividers. Uh, this is very common. You get this with all of the gem deck boxes. Uh, you actually, I wasn't planning on opening it, but if you look inside of my Mother Mary deck box, you will see that it also came with, this only came with one divider. But it uh, looks like now they're doing two. I guess that's the standard now, uh, which is a good thing. I'm very much a fan of having two dividers because you can have a divider from your main deck to your extra deck and then another one for your extra to your side deck or however you want to do it. And it works out well because you have two, uh, two slots here, two slots to put stuff. So you can put one in each slot, however you want to do it. Um, the box is uh, outfitted all over with the designs from Kalsa Brain Games, who is the collab with this particular deck box. Uh, so the astute of you may have noticed that this design here is actually from the Spellgrounds playmats. You can find those uh, designs on the Spellgrounds playmats on Kalsa Brain Games. These designs are also frequently on the Spellgrounds playmats. Uh, I know they're on the one I actually have on my desk right now. You can actually see the designs in earlier in this video. Um, also, if you look in this, let's see if I can get this situated. Uh, if you look here, you'll obviously see another little pouch, another little wax paper thing that has fallen now. Uh, this is going to be your dice tray. So, uh, dice tray works very well. It holds pretty much all standard sizes of dice. Uh, I would say that if you have the Konami sized dice that you get in promotions and in products, they gave them out of YCSs, things like that. Those will fit perfect in here. Otherwise, if you, if you want something a little bit bigger, even I actually use casino dice for mine uh, and it fit, they fit great. So you shouldn't have any issues with dice unless you're using like really oversized metal dice and things like that. In which case you probably already have it your own carrying case for those anyway. So uh, I gotta say, I love the design of this box. I love the feel, the material that it's made out of feels like a very sturdy material. Uh, not just the hard shell that the box is, um, is made out of, but also the actual, um, you know, the actual like material that you, you can feel. It feels very good. It feels like it's gonna hold up very well. Um, it's probably not real leather. I don't know what material this is considered, but it has like a leather feel to it. And overall, I think that the deck box is really high quality. My only concern with these deck boxes is specifically that the these big ones, these double deck boxes that you can get from Gem, my biggest issue with them is that if you are someone who likes to pack light for a tournament, you're gonna have a lot of issues packing light using one of these deck boxes. Uh, that said, the, one, the Mother Mary that I had, uh, I would carry it in my bag a lot for like six, eight months a year, and uh, I never had any crushing issues. You know, it's like it, it's if it's a very sturdy box, you're not going to run into issues with that. Uh, you don't really need to be super gentle with it for anything other than you want to keep it in good condition. Which, sure, it this thing, it will hold up. So these are very good quality deck boxes. If you are wondering how you're going to get your hands on one of these, the deck box, and the sleeves. If you want to get your hands on all of this, you can go ahead and go to our Twitter page at Top Cut Podcast. You can follow us there. There will be a companion post that goes live at the same time as this. Uh, go follow us. Go ahead and like the post. And you have two days. Uh, I think it's a like and comment your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card and be following us and repost something like that. The usual stuff. Uh, if you do those things, then you will be entered in to win either... Uh, there's two sleeves and I'll give you actually, I'll tell you what, whoever wins, I will give you the choice between this and the Mother Mary deck box. Um, this one is used. I have used this deck box, but like, it's literally like brand new. It's still in the original box and everything. Uh, it's your choice, but it, this was the intention, but it's up to you. Uh, I'll let you choose. Uh, thank you so much for watching this review. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if this is something that you like as a viewer, let me know. I would really, really love to hear your opinions on these things. And if you want to follow up on the sleeves, let me know uh, because I'm going to be taking them to a tournament in a couple of weeks. So if you want the follow up to that, just follow us on Twitter and we'll go ahead and 
you know, give you the follow up there. So thank you all again so much for watching today's video. And of course, thank you to all of our patrons and everybody using our affiliate links. We really appreciate that. If you need any of that, it's all down below. And of course, until next time, have a great day. Welcome to the top cut, welcome to the top cut, welcome to the top cut, welcome to the top cut.